Okay guys, this is the Voical Lark X. It's a brand new wireless microphone kit by Pixel. I'm really excited to try this out. I've reviewed a lot of microphones in the past and I have a playlist of all of them as well in case you guys wanted to check that out. I'll put that into the description. There's a few reasons why I'm really excited for this one specifically and I'm gonna be covering that in this video. Let's go ahead and start off with unboxing this, run through some of the specifications and the key highlights for this device and let's see how it sounds and I'll give you guys some audio tests both indoors and outdoors. So let's get straight into it. Now when I'm on the market for a brand new microphone for my camera, one of the things that I always look for is a UHF microphone. This is also based on UHF frequency, it gives me broadcast quality audio. When I get a 2.4 GHz microphone, I end up getting a lot of interference based on a lot of the wireless connections I have in my studio, in my house. This one overcomes all of that. I'm really excited to try it out because not only that, this is a very compact microphone and very quick and easy to set up. No nonsense, literally take it out of the charging case, clip it on, turn it on, you're ready to go. And in addition to that, this also has DSP wireless noise reduction. So if you have a lot of background noise, maybe you have a fan, or maybe you're next to a road where there's a lot of traffic and there's cars, this will actually eliminate all of that, essentially giving you complete noise isolation from a lot of the things that do get picked up in microphones. You don't need any additional dead cat sleeves or wind muffs to do that. It's all inbuilt into this. So that's for me, one of the key selling points for this. Let's go ahead and now unbox this and then I'll also run through some of the other key specifications. So like you can see, it has a case that you can take it with you, a user manual as well. So there you can see is the charging case and I'll run through more detail about this in a second. Let's take a look at some of the accessories. Now there's quite a lot of them in here. Let me just pull all of them out. Okay, so this is pretty cool. You've got yourself an audio cable for iPhone or iPad. This is a Lightning to TRRS audio cable, which is you know pretty much great if you wanted to set this up with your iPhone. You also have a USB to USB-C adapter. This is a whole bunch of audio connection cables for various devices. Let me just take them up. And actually, something that's slightly different to a lot of cables that you get with microphones these days is the length of these. These are pretty long as well. This is the TRRS one. This one is the TRS one. So you actually have one for your iPhone or your Android phone. Quick and easy to set up with your smartphones as well. And then you got a second TRRS as well. Now that's very convenient. I will be setting this up with my Sony A7C. You also have a USB-C to USB-C cable to charge up the device. You actually get two antennas as well, USB-C antennas that you can connect to the microphone just to get that additional coverage of distance. You also have a cold shoe mount for the receiver. And then finally, you also have a 6.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter. So you've got two transmitters just there to the left and the right. Now take a look at how compact these are. Very nicely designed. They have this long clip that you can put onto your shirt wherever you find a convenient location. Each of them have a USB-C port there at the bottom. And you also have just one button that turns it on to that single mode to give you the best quality audio. There's a little LED indicator once you turn it on just to see if it has connected and it does have battery life. And even this is pretty compact. It also has a clip if you wanted to put that maybe into the cold shoe mount or anything like that. But if you didn't, you can actually take this off from the back as this is a removable clip. And then you can just use this separately if you wanted to position it somewhere near to your recording equipment. So just on the right hand side, you have the power button, then you have the volume buttons. Along the bottom, the one on the right is the input for the camera cable. You also have a headphone port so you can monitor the audio. This is pretty unique as well. You also have a background input port Essentially what that means is if you have a keyboard or a guitar or some type of musical instrument, you can have that accompany your audio at the same time overlaying both files, just to have a bit of background music that you are producing it yourself into the receiver. So, you know, if you are a musician and you do a lot of musical things, then this is going to be a really good thing to have as well for that. 
You've got some antennas at the top, but then you also have a USB-C port just there as well in the middle to charge the device. This is your screen. First of all, let's go ahead and turn this on. There we go. Now let's go ahead and turn both of these on. You'll see they'll automatically appear onto the receiver. So you've got the battery life for each of the transmitters, the signal strength, the channel number there. So the left one is on channel three, the right one is on channel six. Altogether, there are 18 channels. Then you also have the volume indicator there and then the mode icon there. There you'll see the indicator light to let you know that this is actually on. Then you have that high quality microphone just at the top as well. These are very lightweight, so when you do clip this on, the last thing you want is very bulky items on your shirt that weigh it down a little bit. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Now finally, let's cover a little bit about the battery life for each of these before I give you some audio tests. Each transmitter has four hours of battery life. With the charging case, this will give you an additional eight hours so that this will overall give you a wireless battery capability of 12 hours, which I think is absolutely great. The charging case can fully charge the transmitters in maximum around two hours. And then it also takes about 80 minutes to charge the case fully to 100%. You'll see there's some LED indicators. You saw just now it was green. That means the microphone is fully charged. If it's yellow, that means the microphones are currently charging. And if all of the lights are white, that means the case is fully charged. But if it's flashing white, that means the case is currently being charged. When I short press this, it shows me the charging status of the microphones inside. When I long press, this gives me the charging status of the case. So you can see it is white, which means the case is fully charged. So that is very impressive. And if you don't use any of the additional antennas that come in the box, then you get a maximum range of 20 meters, which for the most part, will be perfectly fine for the filming that you probably want to do. And then finally, if you did want to buy additional units, you can actually daisy chain these for a maximum of nine receivers. And then that gives you 18 transmitters. So if you have a very large production set, where you're doing a lot of filming with a lot of people, you can get a whole host of these and give the microphones to every single person, daisy chain that, and that can all go into one audio input for your camera and your filming. So there's so many different capabilities and I'm pretty excited to try this out myself. So let me go ahead and set this up with my Sony a7C and give you guys an audio comparison with and without this microphone. So this is an audio test coming directly from the internal microphone of my Sony a7C. I don't have any microphones connected. I've turned off my shotgun microphone that you've been listening in this video right up until now. So this is a comparison to see how bad the audio is if you don't have a wireless microphone attached close to you. So now this is the audio coming directly from the Lark X. I've clipped it onto my shirt here. It was very quick and easy. And to be honest, it's so lightweight that I can barely feel it's actually clipped onto me. It's a lot more convenient than having a lavalier microphone as well, which you need to fiddle around with the wires, make it go under your shirt, around you, clip it to the right position. And if you just have a top which doesn't have a collar with buttons, then you can clip it close to your neck and just reduce the volume on the receiver. Then you'll still get clear audio. Now, like I mentioned, this is at volume five, so I'm pretty impressed with the way this sounds. If I wanted to get it a little bit closer to my mouth, let's go ahead and unclip this. This is how it would sound, you know, if I'm very close to the microphone. So if I wanted to clip it maybe to the top of my shirt, maybe something like this, then all I can do is reduce the volume. So let me go ahead and change the volume down to volume number three. There we go, it's now at volume three, and I feel like it's going to be a little bit more clearer if the microphone is a little bit closer to your mouth. Now, of course, you get two transmitters. So just to show you an example of switching between both of these microphones when you're speaking, maybe you're doing interviews or there's a couple of people that are presenting in a video, this is what it would actually sound like. Okay, so both of these transmitters are now connected and I'm just gonna be switching between both of them like this to showcase to you guys, you know, how flawless the audio is. If I do push them back a little bit further from my mouth, you can see it goes a little bit lighter, but the clarity in the voice still remains. This is perfect for doing maybe live streaming or if you wanted to even just create Instagram live videos, TikTok videos with a couple of people. Having microphones like this, I think would be a excellent choice to have. This would most likely be the best scenario to have for indoor shootings. 
But what I like to do is just in case you want to record something outdoors, people always ask me, you know, how does it sound when it's a little bit windy outside and would it be very good for that? Let me go ahead and just show you a quick test on how that would be. Okay guys, so I stepped outside. It is quite windy today as well, so I wanted to showcase to you guys if you can still hear that wind noise. The noise reduction technology in this transmitter does a very good job where I feel like I'm comfortable enough to do filming outdoors with this microphone. One of the reasons why I also really like this is that it's just so quick and easy to set up when you do go outdoors, you want the portability and the ease of use to do your filming. And for me, you know, taking it out of the charging case, just quickly clipping it on, turning it on, you're ready to go and start your filming. I do a lot of outdoor filming as well. So for me, this would be my go-to microphone for that. Overall, it's a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Does this sound really good? with filming outdoors. I also did increase the volume a little bit to volume number seven, just so you guys can hear a bit more of the clarity with the background ambient noises that you do get generally, regardless of where you are outdoors. So let me know what you guys think down below. So those were the audio tests. I'm still using the microphone connected to my camera. Hopefully you found that very useful and you did like the audio. All of the information you want to know about the Lark X, the link is in the description. It'll be going live very soon, so you can purchase it for $229. Check out the pricing information once it does go live. I'll update the link in the description at that time. If there's anything else you guys want to know specifically about this microphone, drop a comment down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I do plenty of camera accessory tech videos all the time. I have new videos out every week and I'll be sure to do a lot of microphone reviews in the future as well. So keep an eye out for those. Hit that button and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.